I've seen some crazy things. Ask my best trait, I say fashion, cause everything's a statement, and I be killing fabrics. Every foot I create is great, it screams bad chicken. At this rate, the hate is seems average and misplaced. Hey girlies and gents, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome if you're new. So as you can already see, I'm starting the rebranding process. So I hope that you guys like my new intro and towards the end of the video, my new outro. Shout out to Yaya for making my custom intro song. You guys can check her out on Apple Music as well as Spotify. And I will link her um, Instagram down below so you guys can check her out. Another thing, thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. I was so happy to reach that milestone and now we're on the way to 1K. I just wanna thank everyone who watches, comments, likes my video. Keep sharing, keep subscribing. Thank you guys so, so much. To get into today's video, I'm taking it back to classic YouTube content. Back when the girls used to give videos on what's in their bag. I used to love these videos because I feel like girls always just carry their whole life in their bag. So sometimes it's good to see, you know, what other girls are taking just to see maybe you're missing something that you haven't even thought about putting in your bag. So I'm really excited about this. Today I'll be showing what's going to be in my summer bag. I have my yellow Telfar here. I actually got this last summer drew on the security, the, the security bag program. And it actually came towards the end of summer. So I didn't really get to style it and wear it too much. But this summer, this summer, it's up with the bag. As you guys know, I have like the smaller ones, but the smaller ones can only hold so much. So I'm really excited to have the medium sized Telfar and show you guys what it can fit. So normally I always walk around with an umbrella or like a small umbrella. Obviously because this is a bigger bag, it can hold it. The smaller bag sometimes I really have to check the weather, but most times I don't check the weather, <laughs> especially if it's gonna rain. So I just like being prepared and having an umbrella in my bag. So next I have this little pouch. It does have some toiletries. You know the time of the month sometimes can pop up. I also keep it just in case maybe one of my friends asks for one. I'll have some in my bag. Next, we got my handy dandy keys. If I'm gonna be outside, I gotta make sure I have the keys to get back in the house. Next, I have my wallet. And in the wallet, I really just have some cash. I have my cards as well as my ID. Um, I know some people just walk around with their cards, but I really make sure to always have some type of cash even if it's like ten dollars twenty dollars because sometimes you never know like i know when i went to st thomas the card reader stopped working like it's just good to have some cash at least you just never know we got some hand lotion this is the eos shea butter hand cream eucalyptus and guys this it smells so good i guess because it has like the the eucalyptus oil in it but it smells so, so good. It actually kind of smells like men cologne in a way because of the eucalyptus oil, but it makes your hands feel so moisturized. In addition to the EOS lotion, I also have the EOS um, lip balm. So there are two of them. There's a pink one and there's a blue one. Most of the time I'm always losing one or the other. So one may be in the bag, one may not. But the pink one is the medicated lip ointment. I was using this in the winter, great for the winter. And then this one is the extra dry lip treatment. So normally I'll keep both of these. This blue one though, it smells really, really good. It has like a really sweet scent to it. In addition to the lip balms, which will probably also soon be on my bag, I also carry a couple lip glosses. In the summertime, I don't know, like the, the lips gotta be glossing. So normally I only take this one. This is the Fenty, Fenty Glow. Everyone kind of has this, this is the universal one, but I also have the Fenty Cream and this one is Fenty Glow as well. So they're the same color, just this one is the cream and this one is the gloss. But Rihanna, again, if you're watching this, y'all know I love Rihanna, so she's seeing this. Hey girl. <laughs> Next, I got my AirPods. I do not leave the house without my AirPods. Listen, I take the train, I take the bus, so I have to have music. If I leave the house without my AirPods, I may have to come back home because <laughs> it's so painful to walk out the house and not have music. And don't let me forget one at home for the day. I'm pissed, <laughs> like automatically pissed. <laughs> and then if I'm on the phone, I like to have my AirPods. I don't like putting the phone to my face. 
honestly, ever since I've stopped that, I've noticed a clear difference in terms of just acne popping up on my skin. It don't happen anymore. I also keep some wet ones in my bag. We all know COVID. These are the antibacterial hand wipes. Great in terms of just like when it's time to eat. And then I also have some hand sanitizer as well. This is hand sanitizer by Touchland. I actually seen Kara Amonique have this. She's a fellow YouTuber and she used this before. And I was like, ooh, I just like how slender it is. If I had a smaller bag, it would fit perfectly in the bag. And this one, I actually got from Sephora and it is the Appalicious Scented Hand Spray. It smells so good, guys. But yeah, these two, gotta keep them in my bag, gotta stay free of germs at all times. In addition to sanitary stuff, I also have like these small alcohol pads. I also have these small alcohol pads and Purell pads because sometimes like on the bus, since I live in New York, I've seen some crazy things and I've also seen videos of like people putting their butt on the <laughs> on the hand pole. So I just like to have these to clean off my phone. Um then I got some gum. Got some gum. So normally I keep this one, but I also have Trident today. The double mint one is the better one, but this one is like, you know, you need some sugar. A lot of the times, I feel like I'm always hungry, no matter if I eat or not. So sometimes I'll chew on gum in the meantime. Not always the best idea because it fills your belly with gas, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I also keep my glasses in my bag and my mom fronts with me because I don't put them in a case, but I just gotta be ready to snatch them out and put them on if I can't see, but these are my glasses, guys. <laughs> But yeah, I keep these in my bag. I then they're blind. I don't like saying that out loud, but sometimes I really can't see. So I need to keep my glasses in my bag at all times, just in case. I also have a pen in my bag. I don't always keep one, but every now and then I keep a pen in my bag. Sometimes I need to write things down or sign something and the place may not have a pen. I know specifically for the airplane, if you're going internationally, you'll have to fill out those forms and the plane does not give pens. I, I just don't understand it. So I do carry my own pen as well. I also have another lip gloss. I don't really use this one. It is the NK Makeup Lip Gel with Vitamin E. It has like a sticky, it's kind of sticky. I don't, really, I don't really like it too much. I also have some peppermint oil in my bag. Guys, ever since COVID, I have developed an obsession with peppermint oil. Like I've loved peppermint oil before, but now the obsession for peppermint oil has grown, like grown. <laughs> it's just something about it when you sniff it, it has like a certain level of just like freshness. And I just, I just love it. But it's almost finished. It accidentally spilled in my bag. <laughs> Next, I like to keep some perfume in my bag, especially in the summertime, you know. So this is the Floriental Marshmallow Smell from Dossier. I've actually heard one of the people at Dossier call it Dossier, so I don't know. But this one is inspired by the um, Don't Be Shy Kill Killian. I'll put it on the screen. It's inspired by that perfume. It smells so good, guys. On Dossier, I think they actually changed the name for this one recently, so I think it's Floral Marshmallow now but it has all the same notes. The top notes are marshmallow, norelli, and bergamot. The middle notes are orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, or orris, and the base notes are amber, vanilla, and musk. It smells so sweet. It actually smells like candy, to be honest. Probably not the best scent to wear in the summertime because the mosquitoes bite me up, but it smells so, so good. The next item I have is some masks. So sometimes in the summertime or just in general, like I'll leave the house and forget I'm supposed to be wearing a mask. And then I get down and I'm close to the bus stop. I'm not walking back home. So I just like to keep extra masks in my bag. I know a lot of the mask mandates have ended, but I'm still gonna be wearing mine. So I do have a couple of like the regular ones as well as the N95 one in this baggie. I also have my charger. You cannot leave the house without your charger. Like, honestly, it saved me so many times carrying my charger in my bag. My battery actually lasts a long time. 
but just in case, people are really stingy with their chargers, so I like to make sure I keep my own. And this is the fast charger, so normally it does not leave the house. Normally I'll take another charger, but sometimes I do want my phone to charge really fast, so I may take it on the side. The last item I have in the bag is my handy dandy laptop, literally the lifesaver of lifesavers. I do not always take this with me, it is kind of heavy, but it does help me when it's time for YouTube, editing, schoolwork, work in general, fun, streaming services, movie, TV shows. Sometimes I need it, sometimes I don't, so I don't always take it. Um, it just depends on where I'm going. And then I also have my laptop charger to go along with the laptop. So this doesn't always come with me especially because it can also be heavy so it really really again depends on where i'm going so that is the end of this video some things that i do want to add to my bag is a uh, pepper spray so if you guys know any good links that i can get a pepper spray because crazy things have just been happening in new york and i'm really not with it so if you do have any links for pepper sprays let me know down in the comment section below other than that, that is what I'm taking out the house for this summer. Let me know if there's any other things that I should include and make sure to hit the subscribe button as we are on our way to 1K. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.